G'day everybody, Chris McLean here again. And exciting times today as we kick into part five of the eight secrets of rockstar marketers. Uh, if you remember last time we left off with part four, we were looking at your autoresponders, um, which is the part where we pull people across onto our list. The next part of the business um, is really the exciting part because that's where the money comes in. That's where we start to bring in the cha-ching, cha-ching. Um, people have come across, they've seen our ads, they've come across to our landing pages, we've convinced them to give us a, a, their email in exchange for an offer, a product, a service, uh, what we call lead magnets, an ebook, a download, uh, an audio series, a video series, an email series, a training program, whatever that is, we've offered them something they said, yes, in, in exchange for that, I'm willing to give you my name, my email address. Boom, they come across into our marketing list, into our autoresponder. Autoresponder kicks in, sends out that welcome message, that first piece of content goes out. But what is that content? That's where we get into the next piece, which is our product funnel. And really, it's the part of our business that brings us the money. Um, and we call it a funnel because it has a funnel shape. Um, I don't know how well you can see this with the reflection, probably not very well. Um, but basically we call it a product funnel because at the top of the funnel we have what we call our lead magnets which is usually a free offer, a download, you know, $2.95, $1, $5, probably something under $10. Um, it's a simple buy-in for, for a prospect. It's not a big commitment. Generally it's a free incentive just to get them to sign up. Um, and we deliver that to them. And then as they move down our funnel, obviously things get more expensive and they get more complicated, but they also add more value. So at the top, it's a free giveaway. As they move down through our process, maybe it's a, like the SFM, it's a, the next moves at $29.95, uh, access to an online portal, it's another training program, another level, uh, five, ebooks access to an unlimited ebook resource um, from down there maybe it's a, a monthly subscription to a newsletter a monthly subscription to a training program that's a hundred dollars a month all the leading all the way down through you know, coaching programs webinars full-blown training systems which might be three four five six hundred a thousand dollars right the way down to the bottom of our funnel which might be a twenty thousand dollar five day, five star retreat um, at a tropical location somewhere. Um, and that might sound crazy that someone would spend $20,000 on a product, but if that $20,000 accelerates them from where they are to where they want to be in a shorter amount of time. Then... Slight camera glitch there, so this frame might be a bit different to the last one you saw. But basically what I was saying is someone will be willing to invest $20,000, $10,000, $50,000 if it takes them from point A to point B in a shorter amount of time and gives them that value. I'd be willing to spend $20,000 and I have. I spent $20,000 to become a black member of the SFM because I see the value that that's going to give me above spending less. And you can see that for that money, potentially I'm going to make six figures, I'll make 100,000, I'll make a million dollars in the next five years. So people are willing to, to spend that money. So it should be an integral part of your sales funnel that you allow people to move all the way from free offer right the way down to more expensive, more robust, more value adding programs. Um, it's a whole, again, as all of this, this is really an overview of the system. Uh, it, it's, a whole, it's a whole piece of its own. Um, again, we could do another eight week, another eight part series on just on product funnel alone, and it's a huge part of what we teach and what we learn uh, within the SFM framework. Um, again, which is why I incentivize you to, to jump into the SFM. Lead magnet, 20, 29.95. 29.95 would be the best 30 bucks you ever spent, gets you into the system, and from there, the product funnel brings you down uh, you know, through the different levels, dependent on you, dependent on where you wanna go, and how much value you see in the product and how fast you really want to accelerate. Do you want to accelerate it at light speed and go from zero to 100 in six months? 
Or do you want to take time? You know, invest less, but just take a bit more time, which is completely fine. People work at their own rates, and that's why we set a sales funnel as well, because not everybody's going to go for that, that $10,000, $20,000 product. A lot of people will sit in the middle, and it's that classic marketing piece. Um, you know, from, from my, in my, my agency, my marketing background, it's why you always price three different levels. You know, low price, medium price, high price. Most people are going to buy in the middle because the cheap one feels a bit cheap. The expensive one maybe feels a bit expensive, but the middle feels about right. If you just throw one price out, there's nowhere for people to move. There's no choice. If you give people a choice, um, you find they'll, they'll sit somewhere in that middle. And that's really what the product funnels there for, for our business. If we give people the choice based on them and where they're willing, how fast they want to move, what value they see, um, and how quickly they want to accelerate themselves from where they are to where they want to be. Um, and they see that value in that you, you and your product can take them from where they are to where they want to be. So that's the product funnel in short. As usual, dive into the content below. I'll get a bit deeper into it. And we'll prime for tomorrow. Uh, for part six, where we kind of backtrack a bit. Now we've got some people buying our product. We want to move them through that funnel. And how do we do that? We go back to our list. And we look back at list building again. Um, I mentioned in that piece that it really is a huge part of your business, your list building, your relationship building. So we're going to go back and cover that up again. And then we, we get into some more stuff around part seven and we wrap up in part eight. So by the end of this week, We'll have covered it all off and hopefully it's been a value add to you and your business and you can see start seeing the real value in this model um, and why I run a digital business and why a lot of my, my colleagues and people that I, I know here at the SFM, why we buy in and why we, why we run these digital businesses because it, it gives us the, life, the lifestyle freedom that we can set and forget we can set up our autoresponders, we can set up our ad campaigns and our business runs while we're walking the dog, sleeping, on a holiday, whatever we need to do. That's the value and that's really the, um, the benefit of having a digital business compared to a bricks and mortar business. So enjoy today's training. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.